Kia ora tato and welcome to today's tutorial on how to draw a kōru. Here's one I made earlier. Okay. Um, so this is just a recap on those who may have missed the workshop or just need some additional help or support with starting their drawing their kōru. Okay. First things first, resources. Sheet of paper, uh, pen, pencil, pen, doesn't really matter. Okay. That's all you need. That's the start off. And first things first, we need to fold this, this A3 sheet of paper into a long half. So, fold over as such. There you go. Just give it a good crease, because you know it's going to come in handy. And now I'm going to, in order to get a group of six blocks in here, I'm going to have to create a square from the top. You want to try and make it as nice and even as you can, but if it's not, it's fine. It's to the, a different look to your quarter. Create the crease, okay, and then once over one more time. Okay, and once you've done that, okay, get a good crease in there. And now we have a group of six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now if you come over here, we'll start drawing our quarter. So, first things first. We're going to start in, um, there's all different many parts to the quarter. You've got your waha, your arero, your niho, your ihu, fatu, paparinga, tukimata, and pane. Okay, so your mouth, your tongue, your teeth, your nose, your eyes, your cheek, your eyebrow, and your forehead. Okay, so let's get this thing cracking. We're going to start off with the waha, or mouth. We're going to start off in grid six down here. Okay, come down about a centimeter. Okay, I'm going to create a mark, a point there. Point there and a point there just as a point of reference and I'm going to stop it there and remember what we spoke about earlier um, whatever comes to mind in terms of which makes you remember how to draw it then use that up to you for me it's a horseshoe okay so I'm going to create a horseshoe look drawing over here just like that come down another centimeter another point for point of reference down and do the inside of the horseshoe okay and there you have it horseshoe racetrack up to you whatever you want to call it okay so that's the waha now we're going to work on the arero or the tongue and so you're going to come on the inside of the mouth and remember what we spoke about earlier in the workshop I'm going to create like a half surfboard or a half leaf um, put a mark there point of reference mark there point of reference and I'm just gonna slide down here on it you have your arero. Of course, your horseshoe or your waha hasn't connected, so connect those back up just like that. Okay, so waha, arero. Now we're going to work on the niho or the teeth. Um, and like like with the koruru, comes in many varieties. Uh, I'm going to use um, a circular motion, okay, or half buttons for the niho, so like that and like that and just like that and there we have it now we're going to start on the ihu or the nose um, we're going to look at it in the shape of uh, an igloo okay and so, so you're going to go in from grid six into grid four and there's the top of your nose and give the igloo a door just like that okay now we're going to work on the the fatus or the kanoi the eyes um, we're going to go in the top of this corner here, of quadrant two and four. My point of reference there, point of reference there, there, and we're going to create a leaf or a, or a surfboard. Okay, I'm going to go from the bottom and jump and create a curve and hitting that point there like such. There you go, and do exactly the same from your other point, coming from the bottom up, just like that, and then find the halfway mark there and you're going to go to that point a straight line okay for your eyelid there you go 
and there you have it, kind of looks like a leaf, kind of looks like a surfboard. Now you're going to create um, the eyebrow, I mean the, the fatu inside, okay, the eyeball, and just like the igloo. There you go, give it a door, and there you have it. Your eyes. Now, of course, it's going to start off on the paparinga or the cheek, and we're going to connect the fatu or the, the eye and the mouth, okay? So, point of reference and connect it up. Just like that. Now, the next stage we're going to work on is the eyebrows or the tukemata. Okay, I like to use uh, the shape of, um, I guess, like a handle of an old pot or a, or a purse, okay? Uh, using two koru on either end. So you can start either end, create that circular bit, don't cross over halfway, up and around. And there you go there, and we're going to connect it up. Just like that. And there you have it, the tukemata. Now the pane, um, same thing again, you can have it rounded, or you can have it shaped, or you can have it flat. It's up to you for the forehead. Uh, I like um, using, going from the top to the bottom, sliding down, looks like this. And connect with the tukemata and the eye. And there you have it. Now, if you're tino krewa, or you've got some artistic ability, basically all you're going to do now is mirror image um, your half kōruru onto the other side. Here's a little trick. If you feel you don't have the skills or you're not up to that standard yet, you can do this. You're going to fold the paper over, your kōruru over, like such. Okay, and you're going to go find a big glass window, which is we have the luxury here at Karaka that we have plenty. <laughs> and basically, if you can see, you can actually see the outline that you've already drawn, and you're going to trace those lines. And more than likely, it may not be the perfect um, copy, but it'll be very close. So, let's have a look. Let's start off with the mouth. You can see it, and all you're doing is tracing the lines. Tracing the lines. Oh. Just like that. And like I said, you may go askew here and there, but that's fine. Now, so we've got waha, arero, niho, the teeth. Ihu. The nose. Fatus, the eyes, or kanui. Straight down. Okay. Then come in. Just like that. And then, of course, create the paparinga. We're going to connect the waha with the eyes. Do your point of reference, but like I said, you're just tracing it, so that's fine. Okay, now we're going to work on the tukemata, or the eyebrows. Okay, remember, use your, looks like a purse handle, or... Or an old handle of a pot, two kurus on either end. Connect it up. And now the pane or the forehead. There you go, connect that up, just like that. And once you've done that, open it up. You've got yourself a cordon. Okay. Um, previously, you remember you can you can play around with it. Either do a mango pare, koru, kōiri. Okay, I think I've already done a mango pare and a koru, so we'll just go with the kōiri inside design here. Okay. It's really up to you. And there you have it. Easy peasy. So I hope that helps you with your tutorial. Try it out. Play around with it. Try some different ideas. Jump online. Um, there's all different types of kōruru, okay, or and stuff like that. You'll hear different names. Feku, okay. So, Jeff.